These are the best chokes from your closed guard. First, we have our guillotine. From here, I'm gonna pull his head down towards my arm as I sit up and wrap his neck. So I wanna start feeding my left hand all the way through until I can see it on the opposite shoulder. I'm gonna connect my hands here. I raise my right elbow up and I hide the back of his head. So now I just start pinching inside to finish my choke. Next, we have our cross collar choke. So I wanna feed my hand in the collar, four fingers inside as deep as I can get it. I like to think about grabbing the tag of his collar. I reach, I make a strong grip and start to bring my elbow to his chest, breaking his posture. Now I need my second grip. I'm gonna start to switch to look down the other side and I make a grip here on the material. There's a fold or I can go in the collar as well. I like to grab this material, I bring my elbow in, I sit up and bring his head to my chest. Now I just squeeze, I get my tap, and that's the cross collar choke. Here I have my favorite choke, the triangle choke from the closed guard. So for the triangle, I want one arm out and one arm in. If I make a grip on the sleeve, I make a grip on the wrist on the opposite side, I can push his arm towards his belly and pull the other one to me. Now I just bring my hips up, I lock my guard around his shoulder, and I isolated the arm that I want. Now I'm gonna bring my hips up, cross his elbow to the other side, and now I can start fixing the angle. I'm gonna grab my shin so I can open up my triangle and start to push off the hip to make my angle. When I make this angle, I bring my calf across the back of his neck, then I lock up my triangle, pointing my toes up and bringing my heel down. So from here to finish, all I need to do is squeeze my knees together and pull his head to me. I get the tap, I let go. Next, I'm gonna get my punch choke. I wanna hug his head and hug his arm for this one. I'm gonna sit up, hug his arm here, hug the back of his neck to break his posture, and I start to pinch that left elbow in to keep his elbow on the mat and keep my position secured. So my left arm that's wrapping around, I wanna grab the collar, four fingers inside. So I reach through, make a tight grip here, and once I make a tight grip, I can let go of the back of the head because I'm securing his posture with this grip. So now I need to make an angle. I'm thinking about looking at this ear here. So I'm gonna put my right foot in the hip and I start to push to make an angle, almost like I'm going for an arm bar. I'm gonna bring my four fingers inside the collar here. I make a grip with my fist on his neck and then I'm gonna hold him in place while punching through to get my tap. This is my rear naked choke. I have the back control with my seatbelt here and I'm gonna start to block the arm so he doesn't defend. My choking arm, the one over the shoulder, I'm gonna to start to walk it behind his shoulder on the far side. Once I make my grip behind his shoulder, I have my choke. I let go of the forearm, take my arm out, palm to my face, I go behind his head, and at the same time, my right hand, I connect to my bicep here. I have the choke locked in. I have to squeeze, bringing him to me. I don't wanna stretch, and just squeeze slowly. And when I get the tap, I let go. 